enigma of the universe has captivated human minds for centuries, prompting countless inquiries into its origin, purpose, and fundamental nature. However, some of the most brilliant scientists at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, have put forth an equally radical and mind-boggling proposition. The universe as we know it shouldn't exist. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe originated from a minuscule point comparable to a grain of sand. This point was unimaginably hot, incredibly dense, and filled with matter and energy. Subsequently, it underwent a massive explosion, propelling its contents outward and eventually leading to the formation of the universe we observe today. However, there are some significant challenges with this theory. Scientists at CERN have discovered that the environment responsible for generating the particles composing our universe should have produced an equal amount of matter and antimatter. Surprisingly, antimatter is scarce in comparison. Moreover, if there had been an equal split, each particle would have combined with its antimatter counterpart, resulting in an immense release of energy and leaving behind nothing but a vast, empty cosmos. Yet, contrary to these expectations, we find ourselves in a universe teeming with matter and devoid of substantial antimatter. The search for answers to these profound questions drives scientific exploration at CERN and serves as a reminder that our current understanding of the universe is an ever-evolving endeavor. As scientists continue investigating this fascinating puzzle, we inch closer to unraveling the secrets at the heart of our cosmic existence. One of the most intriguing aspects of the universe's existence is the delicate balance between matter and antimatter. According to our current understanding of physics, during the early moments of the universe, equal amounts of matter and antimatter should have been generated. You see, matter and antimatter are fundamental components of the universe, each characterized by distinct properties and opposite charges. For example, an electron, a particle of matter, carries a negative electric charge, while its antimatter counterpart, a positron, possesses the same mass as an electron but carries a positive charge. When these particles come into contact, they annihilate each other, converting their mass into pure energy. This is when the puzzle begins. Why does the universe exhibit an overwhelming abundance of matter while antimatter seems to be scarce? This fundamental imbalance challenges scientists to explore the mechanisms responsible for the prevalence of matter and investigate the processes that may have favored its creation over antimatter. More importantly, understanding the origins of this asymmetry has significant implications for our understanding of the universe's existence and raises profound questions about the fundamental nature of particle physics. Scientists have proposed various theories to explain this matter-antimatter asymmetry, but finding a conclusive answer remains an ongoing pursuit. One intriguing possibility is that subtle differences, known as CP violation, between the behavior of particles and their antiparticles during the early universe's evolution led to a slight surplus of matter. This surplus of matter is crucial because in the presence of equal amounts of matter and antimatter. They would eventually annihilate each other completely, leaving behind only radiation. However, due to the observed surplus of matter, some particles managed to survive the annihilation process, leading to the formation of the matter-dominated universe we see today. Without this mechanism, the early universe would have resulted in a symmetric mixture of matter and antimatter, eventually leading to their complete destruction and the absence of the complex structures we observe today, including galaxies, stars, and ultimately, life as we know it. Another avenue of exploration involves studying high-energy particle interactions in experiments such as those conducted at CERN's particle accelerators, where scientists recreate the conditions of the early universe to observe how matter and antimatter behave. Dark matter, an elusive form of matter that doesn't interact with light or other electromagnetic radiation, poses another perplexing puzzle. Through its gravitational effects on visible matter and its influence on the structure of the universe, scientists have inferred its existence. However, despite extensive efforts, dark matter remains invisible and difficult to detect directly. Observations suggest that the universe contains significantly more dark matter than visible matter playing a crucial role in holding galaxies together. Yet dark matter's precise nature, origin, and properties elude scientific comprehension, raising fundamental questions about its existence and implications for the formation and evolution of cosmic structures. Another angle to look at are the fundamental forces that govern the universe and shape the behavior of matter and energy. These forces, including gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces, play a crucial role in determining the dynamics of celestial objects, from the tiniest particles to the vast cosmic structures. However, despite significant progress, scientists have not yet been able to unify these fundamental forces into a single framework known as the theory of everything. Why is this relevant, you might ask? You see, this framework could potentially provide a comprehensive understanding of the universe's behavior 
from the microscopic scale of particles to the vastness of cosmic structures. It would explain the origins of these forces and their interactions, shedding light on the universe's fundamental nature and addressing deep questions about its existence. Our current understanding of the fundamental forces suggests that the universe should not exist in its present form. The delicate balance of forces and conditions necessary for the existence of stable matter is known as the fine-tuning problem. The theory of everything might reveal underlying principles that explain this apparent fine-tuning and offer insights into why the universe exists with its particular properties. In the realm of quantum physics, scientists have made fascinating observations regarding the fluctuations that occur in the fabric of space and time. These fluctuations can give rise to the spontaneous creation of particles and energy, even in seemingly empty spaces. This phenomenon is known as quantum fluctuation. The universe underwent a rapid expansion during the cosmic inflationary period that occurred shortly after the Big Bang. Quantum fluctuations played a crucial role during this inflationary phase in the early universe. These fluctuations acted as seeds for the formation of structures and galaxies that we observe in the universe today. The quantum fluctuations in the fabric of space and time during cosmic inflation led to tiny variations in the density of matter and energy. These variations served as the initial conditions that eventually led to the formation of stars, galaxies, and other cosmic structures. The gravitational pull of these slightly denser regions of the universe attracted matter over time, leading to the growth of structures. However, while scientists have observed and studied the effects of quantum fluctuations, the nature and origin of these fluctuations remain an open question. Understanding the underlying mechanisms that give rise to quantum fluctuations is a topic of ongoing research in the field of cosmology. By delving into the fundamental quantum processes that may have shaped the early universe, scientists hope to gain deeper insights into why the universe exists at all. The concept of a multiverse is also another interesting angle to look at. The concept of a multiverse, which postulates the existence existence of multiple universes with different properties and physical laws has gained significant attention among cosmologists and physicists in recent years. This idea suggests that our universe may be just one among an enormous ensemble of parallel realities. One of the motivations behind the multiverse hypothesis is to explain the apparent fine-tuning observed in our universe. The fundamental constants and law of physics seem to be precisely set to allow the existence of complex structures and life as we know it. This remarkable fine-tuning has led some to question question why our universe seems to be so uniquely conducive to life. The multiverse theory offers a potential explanation by proposing that each universe's physical properties and laws may vary. In this vast collection of universes, our existence in a universe perfectly suited for life could be attributed to sheer chance or statistical probability. The idea of a multiverse carries profound implications for the conception of the universe and its existence. If the multiverse hypothesis is valid, it will challenge the notion that our universe is the only one and that represents the entirety of existence. Instead, it suggests that our universe is just a single bubble within a much larger and diverse multiverse. Exploring the multiverse hypothesis requires the development of complex mathematical models and theoretical frameworks. Scientists at institutions like CERN and other research centers are actively investigating the implications of multiverse theories and searching for potential experimental evidence to support or challenge these ideas. However, it is important to note that confirming the existence of a multiverse is an ongoing area of research and remains a topic of intense debate within the scientific community. If experimental evidence were to support the multiverse hypothesis, it would have profound implications for our understanding of the cosmos. It would revolutionize our concept of the universe, challenging the notion that our universe is unique and expanding the possibilities for different physical laws and properties. It would also raise further questions about the origin and nature of the multiverse itself and the ultimate explanation for its existence. The claim put forth by concerned scientists that the universe shouldn't exist arises from a confluence of perplexing phenomena and fundamental questions that challenge our current understanding of the cosmos. As scientific knowledge progresses and technology advances, researchers at CERN and beyond continue to push the boundaries of human understanding, striving to unravel the mysteries of the universe's conception and why it defies our expectations of existence. These bold inquiries not only challenge our perceptions, but also inspire new avenues of exploration leading to breakthroughs in our understanding of the fundamental nature of reality. While the claim that the universe shouldn't exist may seem audacious, it serves as a catalyst for pushing the boundaries of scientific knowledge and redefining our understanding of the cosmos. Ultimately, the quest to comprehend the universe's existence, or lack thereof, reflects the innate human desire to unravel the mysteries of our existence and explore the profound questions that lie at the heart of our cosmic reality. As scientists delve deeper into these puzzles, we are 
poised on the precipice of discovery, awaiting the unveiling of truths that may forever transform our view of the universe and our place within it. What are your thoughts on CERN's claims about our universe? Let us know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.